Hey guys, Kyra here. Welcome back to Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. Today we're going to be taking care of a family matter. We just talked to the Baron. I'll uh, cut that into the video right now. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. <sighs> what if I refuse? Because I just don't want to. Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that she'd never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar. Keeps it tied up in a bun. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks if you're looking to hide someone. This is the place. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any who might have, they've been eating dirt long since. Anything unusual happened before they disappeared? 
They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well, devoured another lass before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. This place. Must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. And here we are. We're going to go follow the Baron now. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wall on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. You leg chamber. Like you got Tamara's room is there. Too. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Something seems off about his stories. I don't like him. Maybe that's just my attitude. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Stems broken on the candlestick. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Might as well take everything here. Uh huh. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting. Right size. That painting. Now let's take all the other stuff real quick. I'm sure that'll be worth some crowns. And this. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Alright. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Hmm. It gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Aha! Uh -huh. Could use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? Let's see if there's anything in here before we go on. Inside. 
sense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anise. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron. Family matters updated. Okay. Letter to Tamara. We are more like a family. We support each other and help each other survive tough moments. Grapple with the past, for each of us has a past. Should you... So you needn't worry about anyone digging into yours. We've got a rule. Never ask more than someone offers on their own. The past doesn't matter to us. Only the future does. That and our common fight against evil and depravity, against perverse and loathsome practices of all kinds. Okay. I don't think that's really too important. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Doll. Some candy. Lots of gold and silver. Let's go down here. Damn. Trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Mm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Talk to the Baron about what we found. Done poking around. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushy's one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. I'd have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Alright, let's go talk to this Peller. He's gonna be out of this place. Let's see, how do we get out of here actually? Oh, there's a stash there. So Siri was here. Yes, yeah, Siri was here. Let's drop off some of these weapons and stuff. We've got a lot. I'm gonna call it an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cairo and I'm out. I'll see you next time.